Hey, good morning, seniors. It is Tuesday, February 9th, uh, day six of quarter three. Can't believe we're already here. And this is Love Week. Um, this is also, what week is this? Yeah, this is Love Week. Uh, we know it's Black History Month. Um, hopefully everyone's getting uh, some good information, learning more about uh, history in our country that uh, very much includes uh, Black Americans. So anyway, the reason I'm kind of jumping in right now. Uh, I want to send you off into midwinter break. Today's only Tuesday, but I want to give you some news, some good news, um, probably more like principal good news than, than senior good news. But I just want to let you know that the way that um, administrators, educators, the way we look at the health of a school has a lot to do with watching the way the kids are walking around in the hallways, you know, are they happy? We don't have that right now, obviously. So hopefully we can get back to that soon. Um, another indicator is how well our kids are doing academically. Are they learning? Are they going to class, uh, attendance, all those things. So a couple weeks ago, I shared with you how the senior attendance has been going and you guys have been on a three week upswing at that time. So since then, that was going into week 17. We know there's 18 weeks in a, in a semester, so to speak. Um, the first week of school tends to be a short one. So really there's like 19 weeks are just not all full. So since the last video I sent you on attendance, and I know not a lot of people really watch that, but I get it. So I'm probably going to title this one <laughs> to, to kind of get your attention a little bit more just, just on, you know, updates for seniors. So this is what you guys did the two previous weeks before quarter three started. Um, so seniors, you guys are on a rise. So keep that up. Uh, when we got into quarter three last week, um, well, let me jump back to the first week of quarter one. This is back in September, and you can see as a senior class, you guys were um, attending at about an 82% rate. I think I talked about before, that's kind of when we're all starting, starting to learn how to get online and get to the right Google Meets and right Google uh, Classrooms, and then the next week got a little bit better. But I want to show you what it looked like last week, which was the first week of semester two. And that's our senior class. You guys came in at 84, almost 84.2%. And that's significant because uh, we know the more that you attend, the more success you can have. Of course, we know there's seniors who are working all day and they're finding other ways to access their learning, videos from their teachers, maybe even meeting up with them in Google Meets during off hours or, or just working through classmates or just getting assignments off of Google um, Classroom. So, we know you guys are doing it a lot of different ways, but this is just like one indicator um, that, that I have as a principal, and I felt pretty good about that. Kind of bragged on you guys yesterday at a big uh, district principals meeting how our seniors really are on a good trend up, um, at least from the indicators I have. I know that uh, life is not what we want it to be right now. And uh, anyway, I want to talk to you also about credit attainment. Um, this is another way we look at the health of our senior class. So we know after the first four and a half, five weeks of school, and these are just senior grades, okay? You only had three classes, um, and then there was about a thousand total grades, and, and just a little bit under 70% of you, or of the grades, um, were passing grades, meaning Ds are better. We know we have Fs, and we have got some kids that scooped themselves out of Fville, and then we have the Es, which gives you a little bit more time, um, but that's what the first four and a half, five, five weeks looked at. And then you guys rallied going into the end of quarter two and you actually earned almost 81 percent of your credit so that, that's a pretty nice comeback when you really think about it considering all the things that you're all managing so let me jump into quarter two um, which you guys just completed when we got to mid quarter two very similar 68.6 percent on track um, and the brag I had yesterday on top of your overall attendance is that uh, you're earning credits at a higher rate than you did first quarter. And, you know, those numbers aren't huge when you just think of whole numbers. Um, but I'll tell you what, when you've got over 300 seniors, 350, 360, whatever we have, um, moving the needle 2%, 1% is pretty significant. Okay, so just know that. Feel good about yourselves. Um, I want to kind of bring your eyes over here to the right. You'll see quarter two, we ended at 82.4% credits earned. Uh, we do have the potential for 85.2. And there were 34 students that got E grades, or 34 E grades that students received. Some of you may have gotten two. Um, and you've got the next two weeks to do something about that. You've got this week in Troy time. Then we got midwinter break. 
Um, and then the following week in Troy time, um, hopefully you, you see where you've been assigned and it's just the teachers who you had E-grades from. And then every anytime you get that E-grade taken care of, you can earn up to a C. And maybe the best you can do right now is earning a D. But for every credit you earn, that's one more class. You don't have to worry about retaking or doing an Apex class or something like that. So just overall, I just want to really commend all of you. Um, I know this is hard. It, it's it's probably harder being a student than it is being a principal right now. And it's been really hard for me. So I will let you know that uh, um, we miss you guys. I mean, that's what it comes down to. And uh, we're going to do the best we can to help you get to the places you want to go, college, work, military, whatever. I just need you to keep believing in yourselves. I need you to keep being hopeful. I need you to keep staying in connection with your teachers, whether you're living right here in Auburn. I know we have a student in Eastern Washington living. I think we've got a few out of state right now. Um, hopefully you're getting these messages and I just want you to know just um, Auburn High School is so proud of you and we're just gonna keep working to get you guys to where you need to go. All right, have a great day, everybody. Um, have a great love week and have a fantastic winter break.